So we got Quando Rondo. If you haven't hit that notification bell, that like button, make sure that you do if you enjoy the content. So it was a situation where Quando Rondo ended up getting into a car accident. He said the only people that was there in the beginning was the police and the news crew even made it before the ambulance. And the police was trying to say that he overdosed because they ended up giving him Narcon. And um, that was, you know, kind of crazy because he said he wasn't really on nothing and he didn't overdose. The only reason he was kind of messed up was because of the car accident. So they were trying to, you know, play him on that. And um, that kind of helped out, you know, with the headlines, with the um, news people. They, you know, end up thinking he overdosed and stuff. So also he ended up going to the um, hospital. The nurses ended up telling him, like, the police was trying to hold off on taking his blood because they know he was going to actually give him a shot and it's going to have, like, you know, fit in it because a lot of the hospital drugs that they use you know have that in it and um they was trying to wait for that didn't take his blood and then it's gonna look like he had drugs in it and they end up giving that to the news people and that's when they end up coming up with that you know headline you know my phone looking up thinking and the car accident actually knocked me out the car was folded up but though when the cops pulled up to the scene and i was knocked out guess what the first thing they do what is called narcan. they hit me with narcan like i'm on a f drug Right, because there are some reports that say you almost. Not true. One of them told me that the client don't draw in your blood at this moment. They said they wanted to wait to basically after we put medicine in you, then draw your blood. So pretty much after that, that's when Quan Rondo ended up explaining how he got the information. He was saying like the police, the government, you know, they don't like them because of how much power they got. And he was saying the um, nurses and doctors that go to him before they actually go to the police. So that's when he was saying the nurse was, you know, basically telling them like they wasn't really trying to draw his blood in some days or, you know, a couple hours later until they actually see that he got the drugs from, you know, the doctors in his system so they can um, write up something and basically show that, you know, the report that he got these certain type of drugs in the system, then they can go to the judge and say, oh, let's revoke his bond. But they're already knowing it's not going to actually stick, but it's just for that moment, you know, just to revoke his bond. The the hospital ended up giving me some medicine that actually had fit up in it. Huh. Why they came they two day, well, the next day, and got my blood, then gave the news clip, the news channel the clip. And to be honest, that whole situation is crazy. If that's actually, you know, how it went down, what their intentions was to actually revoke his bond by, you know, waiting. And they probably do this all the time. And it's a lot of people who can't, you know, defend themselves in court and don't have, like, the notoriety that Quando Rondo do for nurses nurses to actually tell him and let him know what's actually going on. So that's good that he provided that, you know, information so other people can be, like, aware, like, you know, what the police be trying to do. But y'all let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Share, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next video.